Welcome to Clyburn Kids. I'm Buddy Bray. I'm your host for Clyburn Kids, and we come to you, as we usually do, from the Steinway Piano Gallery in downtown Fort Worth. This is an episode we're calling Musical Opposites, Tempo and Dynamics. So everybody knows what opposite means, right? If I tell you something is the opposite of something else, you all know what that means. Well, we can have opposites in music as well. How loud or quiet something is on the piano. If I play this, it's pretty loud. But if I play it like this, so quiet, the opposite of loud. I can also have another opposite. Here's something else I want you to listen to. Now, what do you think would be the opposite of that? I played it really quickly, right? So the opposite of that would be if I played it really slowly. Now, all of that's pretty easy, but I want to try putting a couple of different opposites together. And I have two friends that are going to help us do this. One is Daniela Liebman, and she wants to say hi to you. Here she is. Hola, soy Daniela Liebman, pianista mexicana. Nací en la ciudad de Guadalajara, México, y crecí ahí. Y hace seis años me mudé a los Estados Unidos para estudiar en Fort Worth, Texas. Yo amo la música porque me permite sentirme libre. Eh, las emociones que puedo expresar y las imágenes que uno puede pintar no tienen límite en la música. Y las dos piezas que les voy a tocar el día de hoy tienen una de las cualidades que más me gustan eh, del piano. That's Daniela Liebman. And she's going to play some music for you now. And I want you to listen very carefully to what she's playing. Here's Daniela again. Now, to me, that music was two things. It went slowly. And it was quiet, too. So what we need to figure out is what the opposite of both of those things would be. If something is slow and quiet, then what would its opposite be? We have another friend to help us figure that out. Here's Gloria Lynn playing something that is the opposite of what we just heard. Take a look.
right, so Gloria was playing something that was entirely opposite what Daniela did. Daniela played slowly and quietly. And then Gloria played fast and quite loud. Okay, we're gonna do some more opposites. So I want you to look at this piece that Daniela is gonna play for you. Watch this. Okay, we switched up our opposites a little bit. We switched up our tempo and our dynamics just a little bit. That was Daniela Liebman playing Ballet of the Baby Chicks from Mussorgsky's Pictures at an exhibition. She was doing two things. She was going quite fast, but she was playing softly. So it's possible to go fast and play quietly also. Now, here's Gloria with one more opposite. playing another movement from the same piano composition. It's another of Mussorgsky's pictures at an exhibition that's called The Great Gate at Kiev. And Gloria was taking some of those same characteristics, tempo, dynamics, and combining them in the opposite way. She was playing loudly, but slowly at the same time. So here's what I want to know. Out of all the music, you heard today which one was your favorite. We're going to play just a little of all four pieces so you can pick your favorite. That's four different pieces of music. Now, did you have a favorite? We heard something that was slow and quiet. We heard something that was fast and loud. And then we flipped it a little bit and we heard something that was fast and quiet. Then we heard something that was slow and loud. So did you have a favorite of all those pieces of music? I think if I asked four different people, I would get four different answers. That's it for this episode of Clyburn Kids. I'm Buddy Bray. Thanks so much for joining us. We've got lots more episodes, tons of activities on our website for you to look around at. That's at Clyburn.org. We'll see you next time.